Hello, ladies and gentlemen out there. Already got the same guy here. And unfortunately, this video is for the 21 and up crowd, or if you're in a country with an or your country's legal drinking age. And although I know that this is that everyone and their mothers are posting eggnog cocktails, cookie recipes, and any other dish they can come up with to shove some eggnog up and in, up into. Here on YouTube, I, unfortunately, I'm going to join the crowd, and I'm going to post a video here to, as a tutorial to, uh, in regards to an eggnog cocktail that I created, and will be adding in my, into, my that I, into my unreleased cocktail cookbook. I named this eggnog cocktail. Mutter's Milk, it is a reference to a concoction on Firefly Stroke Serenity. Look it up. This, for this cocktail, it is actually just a simple three-ingredient cocktail. But you will need six things to actually produce this cocktail. Things you will need. Shot glass with a one and a half, one and a half cent. Ah, sorry about that. One and a half ounce shot glass with a one ounce line. Some sort of shaking vessel, cocktail shaker, professional grade, cotton novelty, whatever you have. And if you don't have that, a standard travel mug. Note, please wash with mug if need if used before taking on road. Yeah, I don't want to be responsible for you getting a D, getting pulled over and getting found out for opening container. A drinking, a glass with which you will be drinking this cocktail. Now on to the actual ingredients you need. Your choice, whole eggnog. Otherwise, you'll have to adjust the recipe a little bit to taste. Now, again, I'm not a brandist. This is my personal favorite. But if you have your own personal favorite, knock yourself out. Sake. Or sake, however you pronounce it. Cold. Trust me, you don't want this hot. Jägermeister. Yeah, it's going to kick a little. But not that much. Now, this is a nine-step process, cocktail to produce, but it's a fast nine-step process. So let's begin. BT Dubs, I apologize for the look of my Jägermeister bottle, put it in the freezer without really sealing it. Taking your sake, pour it to the one-ounce line. As I have just done. Step two. Take your Jägermeister. Top it off. Take it and drop it into your shaker. I am doing the gradual and then full on dump like that. And I will be closing off the containers as I go along, just to keep it clean. Step. And of course, that is now. That was the third step, was to dump it in. Step four. Take eggnog. Fill it up to the shot, top of the shot glass. Step five, dump. Now, step six revol involves repeating steps four and five 
two more times. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's going to be come out good. Just getting a little mixture to do it on my plate. Sorry about that a little bit. Again, since this recipe is a home recipe, feel free to link or taste whatever you want. Your choice or not. Or you can just wait to clean it up. Just make sure I can get it back open. Close shaker. And vigorously shake for approximately 10 seconds. I got about three. Two, one, zero. Okay, I said this is an eight step, it's actually a nine step. My bad. Pour into drinking glass. Now, like I said, I have to sort of clean it as I go. My ADHD made me forget that I needed to clean something up. <laughs> All right. Step nine, of course, is to enjoy responsibly. I will tell you. This cocktail is super simple in the fact that I am, there's no fancy schmancy garnishing on top. It's just, it is simply pouring. It is simply, you take the appropriate and listed, above, uh, listed as a, mentioned in the video, portions of these. shake and enjoy now i hope you guys enjoy this video and enjoy this little enjoy this cocktail responsibly again and i am out